We are still uh, trying to understand what are the impacts of drones. What we have seen in the last couple of years uh, is really a radical change. The time of having uh, air superiority or air supremacy are gone. Even if you are facing an adversary that has no real air force capabilities, they still can have with very cheap technology like drones, a capability that basically they didn't have in the past. And NATO is adapting to this new way of uh, fighting. We were discussing with the drones operator, which were the, the technical challenges that they were facing. And some of them were uh, like swarming, sense and avoid, how to cooperate between autonomous systems, uh, how to uh, respond to fault or uh, to replan uh, while uh, an operation is ongoing. And we thought that uh, a, a nice and uh, interesting idea would be to have a competition between uh, different universities to try to tackle uh, these, uh, these challenges. Sapiens is an autonomous drone series of challenges backed by NATO aimed at improving uh, the capabilities of drones in self and rescue scenarios. There's four teams from top quality uh, universities who all have good experience with drones and auto automation, really pushing the boundaries of what's possible for these little tiny machines. The system we have created overall can autonomously uh, investigate a building. The only knowledge you need to know beforehand is say a 2D layout in a 3D environment essentially, which uh, in reality for most buildings is available in the design plans. We can have a starting position near an entrance and then put some places inside the building we want to visit to and the drone will be able to enter in the building, explore it and then return to first responders with this information. So in the, what we did today with the maps, it can uh, allow responders to be able to, well, find people in distress and then plan approaches to getting to those people or uh, getting into the building to tackle a fire or any other kind of hazard. We're using these two sensors and then we are fusing them together to get a combined point cloud, which we then use in combination with our algorithm to create the map. So here's an example. In red, you can see the points that just the LiDAR saw because of course it has a lot farther range. And then where we also have the camera image, we overlay it directly on the map to get some more information. For example, like for the boxes. Because as if you just look at the LiDAR data, at the laser data, you cannot really distinguish it. You just know that there's a square object there, but with the color then you can directly see it's a box. We have our people here, they are yeah, made up of mannequins, but this could also be real people. You should detect the people and then you should perform some action. Like give them, give them something if they have some need. So this is the real reason for the competition and this is simulated with this environment. This is important because actually the usage of drone is increasing and actually the, what's important for NATO is to understand what are the latest technology that could be counted on to uh, make a difference in their um, uh, security operations or also civilian operations that they are involved in. When we were training this one, it just does an action, gets a reward that's from some sort of mathematical function, and then based on that reward, whether it's positive or negative, it then trains the AI model. So if it crashes into a wall, that's obviously a very negative reward. If it gets to a target, that's a positive reward. If it's going towards the target, that's a small positive reward. If it's going away, that's a small negative reward. So basically, a lot of the engineering that goes into it is designing the reward function, because it's very easy to design a reward function that teaches unoptimal actions in the real world, but very optimal for the reward function. So you have to be very careful in getting to the bottom of like what you want it to do and not what the AI thinks is the most optimal solution. We decided to use two drones as it increases the reliability of being able to complete a task. So if one drone fails, you've got another one automatically that can take over the jobs. We split the 2D map into nodes that have to be visited for the mapping. Then the AI then allocates whichever node, it, which drone goes to next. So say if one drone does crash, it will still alloc keep allocating the path it needs to go. We haven't done this in the past, so it's all new to us. There's certainly applications out there in the world that have 
done things like this, but a lot of it is behind closed doors. So for us to take these commercially available parts and put it in a way and, and you know, code up things and make the algorithms to make it work is really unique and, and fun for us. This program offers the opportunity to um, mature the work that we're doing from research point of view because when you do academic, purely an academic project, you will not have the chance to always validate. I see already actually the work that we're doing now for the indoor application could be easily actually developed or matured to another uh, a higher level technology readiness level. And at the end of the program, we are hoping actually to mature much more actually our technology for different environments. We are trying to push the state of the art and that's the point of the competition is really to, to encourage development and to encourage the teams to overcome niche challenges. And so we've developed a lot of capability, like a serious amount of capability. And although this whole time has been very stressful, we, we have said time and time again, we've got to do this again. We've got to do more of these. All these as part of the innovation ecosystem that this is what we want to create. Something that from an idea in a university can develop up to a product and a capability for, uh, for NATO. And what we expect next year is technology that will be more mature, more advanced, ready to tackle these challenges.